Welcome to another Creatalytics Espresso Shot, where we reveal game-changing perspectives on PPC advertising in just seconds. This time, we're talking about incrementality in performance advertising, and this is why you should care. As performance marketers, we tend to use return on ad spend, or ROAS, as a way to evaluate the performance of our paid campaigns. ROAS is treated as king, it fuels reports as a KPI and drives bid management decisions. However, using ROAS in a naive way can easily lead to bad budget allocation decisions and harm the company's bottom line. Therefore, it's vital to understand incrementality. It all ties back to the Wanamaker problem established about 100 years ago. Half of my ad spend is wasted. The problem is, I don't know which half. In order to avoid wasting ad spend in today's world, performance advertisers assign ad budgets into campaigns with high ROAS efficiency. But we need to be careful, as wasted ad spend can also hide behind great-looking ROAS numbers. The problem is that ROAS does not express causality. A part of the shoppers that clicked on our ads would have bought anyway, even without seeing our ad. That's typically true for the high ROAS areas like brand or cart abandoners. Hence the waste is in spending on ads that aren't needed. Let's consider a typical performance as reported by the ad platform. The retargeting campaign clearly looks more efficient, so ad budgets would preferably flow into this campaign. However, the ROAS as reported does not reflect the true value of both campaigns. This is where incrementality comes to the rescue. An incrementality adjustment divides the revenue into two parts. The incremental return is the part we would lose if we hadn't run the performance advertising campaign. The remaining return is non-incremental. That's the part that really shouldn't be attributed to the campaign. ROAS turns into incremental ROAS by only taking incremental returns into the ROAS calculation. The incremental ROAS reflects the retargeting campaign's value a lot better. It is much lower than initially reported. Let's do the same for the generic campaign. The generic campaign has a much higher incrementality of about 75%. Hence, the incremental ROAS doesn't change as much. Judging performance by incremental ROAS reveals that the generic segment is much more important for the business than initially visible. Whenever you compare campaign performance by ROAS, you need to question how incremental these figures are. If you're asking yourself, but how can you do that? Visit creatalytics.com backslash incrementality to learn more. Thanks for watching the Creatalytics Espresso Shot. See you guys next time.